In this demo, I'm going to create a .NET Core console app that's going to access and download files from the user's OneDrive account using Microsoft Graph. I'm going to start by launching the, the browser, navigating to the Azure AD Admin Center at aad.portal.azure.com. Now in the left-hand menu, I'm going to select the Azure AD um, icon and then I'm going to choose from the Manage section, App Registrations. On the App Registration page, I'm going to select New Registration. And on the Register and Application page, I'm going to create a new Graph app. So it's going to be called the Graph Console app. And for the supported account types, I'm going to leave it set to the single tenant. And then I'm going to select Register. Now there's a few values that you see here on this overview page that you're going to want to keep track of uh, for your application that we're going to need later. So I'm going to launch uh, Visual Studio Code just to act as a little uh, notepad for myself. I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to copy the application ID And I'm going to save these three values, the application ID. I'm going to also grab the tenant ID. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to set up uh, a platform configuration. So I'm going to select authentication from the menu and I'm going to add a platform. And because we're building a console app, I'm going to choose a mobile and desktop applications. And in the redirect URI section, I'm going to choose the native client uh, and then select the configure button. Now, in addition, I'm going to scroll down a little bit farther and I'm going to select on for the public flows or the public public client flows. I'm going to select yes for uh, allowing uh, mobile and desktop flows. Um, this is going to allow us to use the resource owner password credential flow, which is just a very simplified way uh, for us to handle authentication as we want to focus on the actual Microsoft Graph piece to this and not so much uh, all the details around creating different, um, supporting different OAuth flows and different access options we have with Azure Active Directory. So then I'll go ahead and select save. The next step is to select the permissions that our application is going to need. So I'm going to select API permissions. After creating the application, we now need to grant it the necessary permissions to access Microsoft Graph. So I've selected API permissions, and then I'm going to go add a permission. So in the request API permissions page, I'm going to select Microsoft Graph, and then I'm going to choose the delegated permissions. Now when prompted for the different uh, permission that we want to um, select, I'm going to type in files.r to filter and just show me a list of all the files dot, uh, permissions that start with read or an r. And I'm going to choose the first one, files.read, and select add permissions. Now that the permission has all been, has been created and set up, um, I'm going to make my life a little bit easier and select the grant admin consent uh, for Contoso. Um, the option here to grant admin consent in the Azure AD Admin Center is a pre is pre-consenting all the permissions to the, all the users in the tenant, uh, just to simplify this demo. This approach allows a console app to use the resource owner password credential grant, so the user isn't prompted to grant consent to the application. That simplifies the process of obtaining an OAuth access token. You could elect to implement alternative options here, such as the device code flow to utilize dynamic consent um, as yet another option, but that's a little bit beyond the scope of what we wanna cover in this demo.